Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what's in my two backpacks for school. And the reason why I have two backpacks is because I have one for like school school and I have one for field hockey. Because if you guys didn't know, I played field hockey as a sport. I start sophomore year next year, which is so crazy because I still see myself as like a little freshman. Freshman year went by so quickly. And if any of you guys are incoming freshmen, I assure you that freshman year is like the easiest year in high school and it'll go by so quickly. Like I honestly had so much fun. Also because I just love my teachers but anyways let's get on with today's video okay guys before we get started on with today's video i just want to give a big thank you to grammarly for sponsoring this video and as you guys may know i'm going into sophomore year of high school which is super exciting but as i'm going sophomore year i'm going to be writing a lot more essays and i'll have a lot more writing to do one of the biggest problems I face while writing my essays are that I tend to write a lot of run-on sentences and I always need extra help with my grammar. But thankfully we have Grammarly. Grammarly is an AI power writing tool that is easy to use that will help you with your writing from brainstorming to even citations. And you guys can access Grammarly's AI features by clicking on the Grammarly logo, which I will insert right here. And when you're stuck with writing your paper, Grammarly can help you kick things off with ideas, outlines, and even tips. Additionally, it's super easy to polish your essay. Grammarly can help you paraphrase and rewrite instantly. All of these features that I just showed you guys are completely free to use and try out. Grammarly is a must-have and a necessity for all students. You guys can sign up for a free account using this link right here. And if you guys want access to extra features, get 20% off Grammarly Premium using this link right here. And I just want to give a huge thank you to Grammarly for sponsoring this video, and now we can get started with my video. Okay, so first I'm going to show you guys what's in my school like studying backpack the first essential that i have in my backpack is of course my laptop i'm going to be using my laptop literally every single day of the school year so i need to make sure that i have a laptop the school provides us a laptop and i was gonna use a school laptop again this year because i used a school laptop last year but i was like no like the school laptop's like so crappy like it's not good quality and it's so slow and old and of course this year the whole entire school gets new laptops but it's too late now i already signed up to bring in my own laptop so it's whatever Okay, next thing I have in my backpack are two notebooks. Notebooks are, I think, a very good essential to have in school, especially if you're in high school. So if you're an incoming freshman, I recommend getting notebooks. I'm sure you guys already have notebooks. I don't know what I'm saying. Next thing I have in my handy dandy backpack is a planner. OMG, you guys are going to be needing a planner this year. Trust me when I tell you this. This planner changed my life last year. Not this exact planner, I had a different one last year, but planners were so helpful to me because like during class, whenever my teacher tells me that like I have homework, I tend to forget about it and then like I won't do it at home and then I go to class the next day and the teacher will be like, okay, take out your notes, blah, 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 blah. And I'll be like, oh crap, I didn't do it. So that's exactly why I write it down in my planner. So when I get home, I can look at my planner, see what I have to do and then do it. And then it helps me stay on track. Yeah, planners are very helpful and I definitely recommend getting one. Okay, next thing I have in this handy backpack is a book. I've had this book since May. I started it in May and it's August right now. I never finished it because I'm a very impatient person and like I'll read a chapter and then I'll be like, like, come on, I just want to get this book over with. So my goal this year is to finish the book. And if I don't, that's kind of embarrassing for me because I started this in May. Something like that. However, like, like whatever, like, Moral of the story, I just can't read for like for the life of me. I, I can't even talk either right now. Okay, next thing I have in this backpack is a calculator. I have a graphing calculator because I took geometry last year in algebra one in eighth grade, and both those years you needed a graphing calculator. And this year, algebra two, I'm sure you'll be needing a graphing calculator. By the way, I had to buy a brand new graphing calculator this year because the graphing calculator I had last year broke, and Erica's graphing calculator, it like doesn't charge or some, I don't even know. So I had to get myself a new graphing calculator, which was so amazing. Next thing I have in this backpack is a lint roller, is a portable lint roller. You guys don't understand the amount of times I've walked into school and I've had lint all over my leggings and like, it's honestly just like so annoying. You open it like this and then you roll your clothes onto this. It's like, it's like a rubber ball, but sticky. And then to make it sticky again, you just wash it with water. Like that's so handy that this is portable and I can just leave this in my backpack. Okay, next. Next I have little tabs for my planner so I know where I'm at. Like I know the planner comes with like tabs of each month but then I 
like I, I want to know what exact page I'm on. Okay, next I have some pens, colored pens, because I love to write notes with pens. It, it just makes writing notes a lot more enjoyable. Okay, so next thing I have like a pen to get like stains out of your clothing and it's portable. And the reason why I have this is because like I am very clumsy and I'm an idiot and I always get stains on my shirt. Okay, next thing I have in this handy backpack is a pencil case. And my pencil case in this is in the shape of a pencil. Isn't that so cute? So when we open this pencil case, what we'll find in here is three post-it notes, my graph and calculator charger, a pen. Didn't mean to take that out. And then, oh my god. I'm sorry, my eyelid was just really itchy. And then we have a bunch of pens and pencils because I always give my pencils out to my friends or classmates and I never get them back. So that's just like amazing. And then I have like lead to refill the pencils. And then I have a little bracelet, hair tie, and my pencil case. Because whenever I'm taking a test, I usually break a sweat because of how much anxiety I have in my body. Like you're lying if you guys go into a test without having some anxiety. Okay, next thing I have in this backpack is hair ties omg hair ties is a must i honestly should keep some put some in my focky bag because like either a friend will need a hair tie or you just forget to bring a hair tie sometimes and you need it next thing i have in this handy backpack is a mini perfume bottle why you may ask because my biggest fear is having bo or like me just smelling bad in general like having perfume with me is just gonna like solve everything next thing i have in this backpack this is an essential is my school id but this school ID is very helpful because when you need to print something at our school, you need to scan your ID onto the printer. And if you don't have your school ID, you have to like, like manually type in your email and password and it's so annoying. The next thing I have in this handy dandy backpack is gum. A whole 30 pack of gum. I ate some of it, but like that's besides the point. Next thing I have in this backpack, I have oil blotting sheets with me because I have very oily skin and this is going to help a lot. Like especially during class, so I just need to fix up some of the oils on my face. Okay, next thing I have in my backpack is just a whole pack of pencils. Because like I said before, I give my pencils out to all my classmates if they really need one. Because I'm not a little biatch. I will share my stuff, but I tend to never get back. So I guess that's kind of my fault too. I think this is the last thing I have in my school backpack and that is chapstick this is a need and not a want like this is a necessity no one wants cracked chapped lips at school okay i would not want cracked chapped lips at school now i'm going to move on to this field hockey bag if you guys play field hockey feel free to use my bag as inspiration so first it's not in the bag but it comes with my bag and that is a stick this is my stick it's all black i love it so much okay so i'm gonna open up this pocket right here and this pocket comes with sneakers and i have sneakers in this backpack because you need sneakers to play field hockey duh you can't be running around in slippers okay next in this tiny pocket right here i have my mouth guard that i actually need to cut down i chew on this mouth guard a lot but i need to cut this down because every time i put it in it like goes way too far back in my mouth and i gag like during games or during like drills during practice i'll put it in a big it's not very pleasant. Next, in this pocket right here, I have deodorant. Because like I said before, I have a fear of BO. Oh! And I like to be clean. This is brand new deodorant. It's anti-perspirant deodorant. It's mini too, so it's nice and small and portable. Next thing I have in that pocket are my shin guards. Because when you're playing field hockey, you don't want that ball to get drilled right into your shins. Because the ball is made out of concrete, fun fact, and it's gonna hurt like a biatch. Next thing, I have a hairbrush. And you're probably asking why I have a hairbrush. It's because I like to put my hair up for practice and games. And after a long day at school, my hair is probably gonna be a little messed up and maybe a little tangled. So we're gonna wanna brush it. Ooh, I like this brush. Mm. Ooh. Wait, this is actually a very nice brush. I like the shape of it too. We're gonna move on to the biggest pocket I have in this backpack. We have socks for games, my water bottle to stay hydrated, a baseball. This is not mine. I forgot this was in my backpack. I have to give this back. And here I have my physical, that, my physical that I never turn in because 
turns out I was already cleared. I don't know how, so I didn't need this physical, but I think I'm still gonna turn it in. Next, I have a form for my merch that I'm gonna need for field hockey. Okay, next thing in this backpack, oh, is a hoodie because I have practice really early in the morning. Like today, my practice was at 6.45 a.m. and it's freezing at that time. So I always wear a hoodie to practice in the morning and then take it off like during our warm-up lap. So it's very nice to have some clothes in your backpack. Again, another shirt in here that I didn't even know I had. I have my school merch shirt. I'm not gonna show you guys because it has my school on it, but it's a long sleeve shirt. Next, I have another game socks. My shoulders are cramping, I don't know why. Okay, next, in this beautiful backpack of mine, we have another pair of white socks because these are socks I wore last year. These are the pair I received last year. I think every year our coach gives us new pairs of socks. Okay, and the final thing that I have in my handy dandy backpack is a penny. Because we wear this to scrimmages. I just washed this, so it smells really good. But we wear this to scrimmages because we still haven't received our uniforms yet. And when you don't have your uniforms, you have to wear something navy Um, if you were at an away game for scrimmage. Yeah, I don't know. Pretty self-explanatory, I think. But yeah, that's all there is in this beautiful Focky bag of mine. And that's all there is in this beautiful school bag of mine. If you guys have any questions about anything in my backpacks, just let me know and I will hopefully answer you guys. But honestly, I'm low-key scared to go back to sophomore year because like I know like the layout of the school, but I don't know my schedule yet. And I'm scared to see my classes. Like I'm honestly just like terrified for that. Honestly, pretty scared. But honestly, I think it'll be fine. But if I had to give any tips to like any incoming freshman, it would be to probably get to class on time and do your homework. Get as good grades as you can this year because since it's such an easy school year, like it's like such an easy way to bring your GPA up. It's only gonna get harder from there. Like your GPA is not gonna get any higher unless you're a crazy, insane, savage beast like I am. I'm not. I'm just not. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. What I'm, what I'm basically trying to say is that just do your homework so you can get your GPA, so you can maintain a good GPA so that like junior year, if you end up having a bad GPA, your freshman year can hopefully like bring it up, rather bring it down. You know what I mean? And I would recommend playing a sport or doing some sort of extracurricular because it just looks better. But yeah, that's literally all I have to say. Like, otherwise just have fun because freshman year was honestly so fun and if I could relive it, I would. That's all for what I have in my school backpacks. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments down below and I'll hopefully respond to you guys and leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!